Hello and welcome to Science Detectives. I'm Melanie. I'm Melanie. And don't you love our lovely jackets that we have on today? Hmm. Okay, let's get on with it. Today we're going to be making a foamy monster, okay? Now this experiment is really good fun. Loads of foamy bubbles, but it can get messy, okay? So I suggest today you have yourself a little tray, or even better, take yourself outside into the garden to do this one. So Meredith, did you know that everything that is not living on this planet is either a solid, a liquid, or a gas? So today we're going to look at liquids, okay? So all liquids are either something called an alkali, something called an acid, or they're somewhere in between, and we call them neutral. Now, all those different things, acid, alkalis, and neutral liquids, they all have different chemical makeup, so they're all slightly different, which means that we use them for slightly different things. So, let's crack on with our experiment, because today we're going to use some of those different liquids and see what happens. So, Meredith, can you tell everyone what we're going to need for today's experiment? Okay, the first thing that you'll need is 500 ml of plastic, bottle or a jar or a plastic cup. The second ingredient, vinegar, any type will do, but clear is good. Paper or cardboard. So this is to make our little monster arms. Completely optional, just makes it a little bit more fun. The carbonate of soda, a tissue and a tablespoon. Perfect. Very liquid. And a glue stick. Okay, so your glue stick is for sticking your um, your little monster's arms and features on. Okay, so let's look at what our acid is today. So our acid is this vinegar, malt vinegar. As we said, I said, it can be any type of vinegar. The alkali we're going to add in today is bicarbonate of soda. Now, do you know what you use this for, Mary? We use it for cakes. And what does it do in the cakes? It makes them rise up. Oh, exactly. So, I wonder what's going to happen when we mix these together, okay? Because when we mix these together, what we're actually going to do is create a chemical reaction, okay? So when I mix an acid and an alkali, there's a chemical reaction formed and we form a completely new product. So, Meredith, let's crack on with the experiment and see what happens, okay? So, to start off with, I want you to fill half of that bottle with some of your vinegar. Now I've got a little funnel here, so you can use that. So you want to hold one hand on your bottle or your funnel and pour your vinegar in. So you want to put roughly about half your bottle or half of your glass or your jar. That looks perfect, Mary. Okay, you take your funnel out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our little bit of tissue and you're going to add a tablespoon, Mary, of your bicarbonate of soda. Now you're going to put it in like a little sausage shape, so like a little line, and we're going to make like a little parcel. Perfect. I would actually put just a tiny wee bit more in there because you want a nice heat teaspoon. Now I want you to roll that up like a little sausage. Perfect. Don't worry if a few little bits of it spill out. And then you're going to get your ends and just kind of fold them over. So you're going to make it into like a little parcel. Now also, something I should mention here, if you do have clear vinegar, it might be quite a good idea to pop some colouring in there. It might make it a little bit more fun. Okay, but because we've got brown here, we might not notice it as much, okay? So I think I'll put a wee drop of it, just in case. So let's pop a bit of red in there. And something that else we're going to put in before we put our bicarbonate of soda is a good scoosh of fairy liquid. Now this can just be any old fairy liquid. So I'm just going to get my bottle, give it a good scoosh in, then I'm going to give it oh, a little mix together. Oh, you can see a bit of a red colour in there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in our little, it's almost like a little ticking time bulb, okay? And then we're going to give it a little shake and we're going to see what happens. Okay, Meredith? So what we need to do, you need to have it like your little sausage shape. Okay? So we're ready. Three. You're going to drop it in. Two, Two. One, go! Give it a mix. 
and let's watch to see what's happening. <gasps> now look, look at what's happening in there. We've got lots of foamy bubbles starting to peek out the top. Now if you're worried, give it a good mix so that's going to keep coming out. Oh, look at that. So what we're seeing here is a chemical reaction. Now there's loads of foamy little bubbles. So what happens is that vinegar reacts with a bicarbonate of soda, a chemical reaction takes place and it gives off lots of little gassy bubbles. <coughs> now Meredith, can you remember what the name of that gas is? It's carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Now that carbon dioxide, it then reacts with our soap and it creates lots of these foamy bubbles. Now this should keep foaming as long as there's some bicarbonate of soda in there. And this is a great one because you can even, you can start adding some more in once it's stopped foaming. So this is a really simple little experiment. You can have loads of fun with bicarbonate of soda and vinegar. And it's something that you can do really easily at home. Okay, that's us finished with our foamy monster. Go and have lots of foamy fun. Bye.